um, that would have been good to get the norms though. But uh, here's our agenda and you should have one right in front. So I'm about to welcome you in just a second. Well, actually, I welcome you when you came inside. Collective commitments, we just reviewed the agenda. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over our objectives, the purpose of the meeting. We're gonna talk about the overview of assessments. Why is it important? Why is needed in the district? Why assessments? You know, the big talk is why do you keep testing these kids? I'm gonna give you the answer to that. Um, then we're gonna kind of stop, and after I explain each one of the assessments, I'm gonna have you do those assessments. I'm gonna have some of you pretend to be the teacher or a leader, and then some of you are gonna be role play and do a student, and we're gonna to try to get a high, a medium, and a low field of what you're listening, so you know what you're listening for when you're doing the reading assessments. Just, um, we're gonna go with phonics sounds because a lot of people have miscued sounds. I'll give you one. Everybody thinks that the sound for R is R. Er. Am I right? It's not. Please don't do that in front of me. I'm wearing phonics with a piss right now. Very simple. When the kids come in, they're gonna be that pirate R. Er. And you're gonna correct them. It's wrong. Okay? So when they get that wrong, you will actually put it indicated wrong. And I'm gonna show you how to put little Annabella notes on there so the teacher can kind of see what the confusion is. Okay? Um, so we're gonna do one for math and we're gonna do one for phonics. And the hands-on training is gonna for the uh, team leader and your manager is gonna be with the DRA assessments. That's the reading assessment. That's because that one is real critical. And I don't want you to get confused because this is this is why the assessment team is coming to play. Teachers, we love our kids, we love our students. So we know that Johnny can read, but he's struggling, so I'm gonna help him because I know he could be successful. And so teachers often put their emotions in, a, in assessments and they want little Johnny to do well rather than giving him the real feel. Does that make sense? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just limit it to three different people listening for the same thing rather than two. Does it make sense? Okay. All right, and then at the end, well throughout, I want you to ask questions. And at the end, I'll wrap up and we'll uh, do questions and answers just to kind of get a feel. And I'm gonna have one big question here. So once you do this, you're like, let's do this now. If y'all wanna get started now, we can start maybe like Friday, since y'all are gonna be here this Friday, okay? And then we can have an earlier week next week. All right, so our objectives. Um, the first two objectives are overall literacy objectives and overall math objectives. The purpose of us gathering all this data for the school is to identify the expected student outcome for each individual student. I know y'all have been in traditional classrooms where you go in, you learn multiplication by two. Mary Millie got it. What's your name? Jay got it. Justin didn't get all these things. The next day, you're gonna learn your threes. Justin still don't get his twos. Okay? Everybody get it. Because Justin didn't get his twos, guess what? He's not gonna be motivated to do it, get his threes. And then you keep going, now the whole class knows all their multiplication except for this table here. Okay? So this data is gonna identify he needs to work on intervention when Cedar pulled him out third grade. Guess what he needs to work on? Not two by two. He needs to work on just his twos. Him. She needs to work on her sixes. She needs to work on her sevens and eights. Okay? Don't get her twos. Does it make sense? So this is what the whole day is going to collect it so you can identify what each individual student needs. That's intervention. That's the purpose of cities. Y'all are pulling stuff on their knees, not what you think you should teach that day. The second um, objective, school-wide, is to focus on student learning in ways that they can drive effective instructional practice. This is my, my drive for all the intervention to do. It has to be effective. The scenario last year, I shared with um, Mr. Matt and Ms. Jennifer. Um, I observed fifth grade interventions with Cedar, they were still working on what is an hour. Person plays the piano. They knew it. You know what they were trying to do to that senior member? Get out of turn. Okay? So if you're looking at data, you will know what that child knows and what don't know. You won't it won't be waste of time. 
okay, is the effective because you're driving off that instructional practice, okay? Our purpose today, which is the last two bullets, is to explain the importance of each assessment and how it can drive with instruction. And then we're going to conduct mock assessments so you can demonstrate your understanding of everything that we're about to do.